One of the major news on the Chilvent edition of this year for CCOP are the condensing units. Why CCOP has introduced the condensing unit in its portfolio? Well, condensing units are an important part, in particular, of the distribution business. And in 2022, um, we had a very interesting year in that we launched direct sales into Europe and uh, the Middle East and, and other parts of the United, uh, other parts of the world, um, where we went direct into the distribution market. And as I mentioned, condensing units are a very integral part of the distribution business. Uh, it's a requirement for the distributors. Some distributors use them for replacements. Um, some distributors use them to sell to small OEMs. Um, today, uh, the servicemen are looking for products that um, will fit properly, will give them the right uh, refrigerants. Sometimes it's products that are um, used with the uh, historic refrigerants like 134A and 404A. Uh, some will want to require um, propane, which is a new refrigerant. Um, we make these products from, or we, we're distributing today from a fractional all the way up to one horsepower, which is roughly 300 kilowatts to 1.6 kilowatts, um, or one eighth to one horsepower, depending how you want to discuss it in what part of the world. And we make, them in, um, um, we make these available for our customers all over the world. They can be available in the States, they can be available in Europe, Middle East, Oceania, etc. So that is the reason that we have come up with uh, and start offering condensing units to our customers. Um, they are the main drivers and we're going to continue to improve and expand our line as we go forward. So we chart the benefits of these units. Well, the, these units have many benefits. Uh, when CCAP decided to go fully into the distribution business, we knew we needed condensing units to, to broaden our line. So we took a deep dive into uh, what would be required to offer the customers what, what would be the, uh, something that would be more superior that's in the marketplace today. We knew as a standard we would have to have high quality. We also knew that we would have to have something that would save the customers money. Um, so having things that drop in can be used quickly, saving time will save them money. So we looked at the, the base sizes and the tube sizes and, and um, decided that uh, the line that we would have would, would optimize these in order to give them products that would lower their costs. Um, on top of that, it was extremely important that uh, CCAP had a product that would meet the Echo design for the European market which was just brought into effect. Uh, the Echo Design specifications required us to redesign the majority of the condensing units that we'd had in the past. We had to optimize with higher efficiency compressors, we had to have uh, higher efficiency coils, um, and um, do a lot of testing in order to ensure that we would have the product that is required for the marketplace. Um, on top of that, it was very important for us to have multi-refrigerant uh, approvals for our condensing units so the customers could carry just one or two models and cover many many different models of different refrigerants and I think all in all together we've come up with a very interesting package and have a, a very uh, interesting offering for the customers today. Here we can see a sample of R290 condensing unit. Uh, where do you see a potential market? Well R290 is a new refrigerant it's uh, of course uh, replacing our 134A and 404A, the HFCs. Um, it is propane. Propane is a natural refrigerant. It's the leading refrigerant for um, the smaller size um, applications such as food service, food retail, and that's where we're seeing most of the product being used today. Uh, it's also being used in beverage coolers and beer coolers, etc. now, now that some of the big players like Coke and Pepsi and that have, have mandated that. Um, the majority of the condensing units that CCAP has, has uh, offered to the market today are designed for the replacement business, but many of our wholesalers are, and distributors distribute to smaller OEMs that now require the R290 propane product. Um, so we felt that it was important that not only did we, did we offer the, uh, the, the products that use the, the older refrigerants that are being phased out, but also made available today at the very beginning the R290 uh, condensing units as well as compressors for our distributors and wholesalers so they could supply the, the OEM markets that uh, they serve today in many cases.